I think that's massive. I think parents experiences of schools has a massive impact on how they interact with their kids and try and teach them because we're emotional beings you know that's kind of what we experience is what we then effectively live on um, and so for some parents this is a wonderful experience and they love maths and they're kind of really into sharing that with their kids for some parents this would be like the worst thing ever because they hated it and you know and they also know it's important so there's double jeopardy there they want their child to be good at it but they can't help their child be good at it so you know i think it's a really mixed bag you know also you've got the added mix of some parents love maths but their kids hate it or some kids love maths and their parents hate it so it's this you know there's a lot of unknowns in this and so I just think it's probably a very challenging time but also potentially a wonderful one you know it's the type of it's a great thing I think that parents are having to spend time learning with their kids and working out and finding out what their children are learning that's like important parents are like the most important influence on students so this is a difficult time but I also think potentially a really special and good time. I can imagine that a lot of parents are finding this time, you know, during lockdown really challenging, uh, you know, with having to work and having to effectively teach their children and probably for the first time ever. For some, this could be a, a, a massive relief for not having to do work and they're having to spend time with their kids, uh, learning stuff they find interesting. But I, but I can imagine it's very, very challenging um, because time is an issue. The whole lockdown happened so quickly that many parents didn't get a chance to really think about what it meant and to plan. And that's something as teachers, planning is like the most important thing to deliver things properly. So I can imagine it's incredibly challenging. Be kind to yourself. Teaching's challenging, you know, teachers find teaching hard. So you're gonna find this a bit challenging sometimes and that's okay. It's never too late to get better. Use this time with your child to, to improve your own maths. So it's like, there's the National Numeracy Challenge where you can improve your skills, it's free and it's a great time. You know, hopefully there's a little bit of time for you to think about your own personal learning. There's the Family Toolkit as well on New National Numeracy, which has got a variety of resources. Um, and it's just, and, and also YouTube is an amazing resource. So say you do something, you teach your, your child something and, and it, you don't know what the answer is and they don't know what the answer is. It doesn't matter. You're gonna, it's gonna be difficult. You're gonna find things you can't do. It's cool. Just say, I don't know, I'll research it. You could ask them to research it and then come back to it the following day. Like you don't have to have all the answers. And as a teacher, that's one of the biggest things I've learned. And I think it's really important for you to share with your child that you're a learner as well. That's like the most important thing that you can like, probably ever do really. So be flexible, be kind to yourself and try and use it as a time to, you know, broaden your own mind in a positive way. I think the single most important thing a parent can do to help their child when it comes to learning maths is be positive. Like be so positive, even when you're finding something difficult. The magic of mathematics, what people love about mathematics is it's hard. The challenge is, is there. So you're going to find things difficult. The struggle is important. Getting over the struggle is where the magic happens and that's where success is. And what the difference between people who don't like maths and people who do like maths is people who don't like maths find something difficult and stop. The people who do like maths find something difficult, work their way through it, fight their way through it, get to the end and feel great on the other side. And that is what you know you should hopefully be showing your child. You don't get born with the answers. It takes time, um, but that's where the fun is. And try and be playful with it. Like the aim is that like maths is playful. And I think it sometimes gets lost to negative experiences. Um, it's useful, yes, but it's also playful. And there's a variety of ways of doing things. So communicating that to your child is so important. And if you can also show them that you're a learner that finds things difficult, but gets through it, you're setting them up in a really positive way for life beyond school. 
what I'd say to someone who told me they were not a numbers person uh, is stop, you are. Everyone is, okay? And it's really important to have that in your mind. Yes, you might find it difficult, but there's always time to get better. This as a subject is one that you can really quite quickly get better at if you spend time on it. If any of my students was to say to me, I can't do it, I'm no good at this, I stop them straight away, I say, yet, I can't do it yet, and my job is to help you get there, and you have to try. Like, it's not gonna come out of the air, it's not just suddenly gonna magically land in your lap, you're gonna have to work for it, but as I said before, that's where the magic happens. So, I don't ever allow anyone to walk away from me having said, I'm no good at maths, it's not okay for me. So if there's one thing you take from this, and if you are feeling you're not that confident, join the, do the National Numeracy Challenge. You've got nothing to lose, completely free, and learning shouldn't end at school. We are all numbers people. <laughs>